I was an athlete. Um, and then all of a sudden, my body started not behaving the way that it used to. My vision was getting blurry. I had an excruciating pain radiating through my entire body. <laughs> it's like someone had poured acid through my veins. I would look at a flight of stairs and not know if I was gonna be able to make it to the top. I'm Jessa and I'm an instructional designer at Sephora. Four years ago now, I got diagnosed with a chronic illness that has no cure called myalgic encephalomyelitis, um, commonly known as chronic fatigue syndrome. 75% of people with this condition cannot work and 25% of them are bed bound permanently. I was in a really dark place. I was afraid to face how I was gonna be perceived in life. And so that's what I was seeing happening to me. If I'm in my wheelchair, people don't talk to you. They talk to the person that's pushing you. And so you feel invisible, like you don't exist and you don't matter. And Sephora has said the opposite. I remember going to my boss and saying in a unguarded moment, you know, I was very depressed. And she grabbed my hands and she said, Jess, we're gonna work with your doctor and we're gonna figure this out. And it gave me hope. And that's what we did. I use my sunglasses indoors because the intensity of light hurts my eyes. So some days I just need a cane, other days I need a roller, and for large events I need a wheelchair. My team members make the accommodations for me to be able to pace myself um, and show up and I, I'm just so grateful. Even people with disabilities that are robbing them of their lives uh, still have value just by being. It's not about what you do, it's about who you are. I feel stronger today than I did yesterday. It's not going away, but I've reached a point now of acceptance and gratefulness for this condition and what it has taught me um, and to see life from a completely different lens. Most of the world is suffering. <laughs> Most of us have trauma and pain and deep things that we hide from others. I am a disabled queer person. I am accepting who I am today and living through that and with that and not hiding it and not denying it and learning to live more fully in, in what it means to be me.